Hey guys, good morning. Thank you for joining me again. I'm Rinske Dauna and this is my art channel. Today I'm gonna work on a 20 inch round panel. It's wooden and I've gassoed it three times and gesso dries super quick. So I did it just this morning and it's now already ready to be painted. I mixed a beautiful color. I'm super excited about this color because it's so, so fresh. And it's a titanium white with just a little bit of phthalo green and it turned out to be a beautiful minty sea green. You know, I get very excited about colors. I'm gonna do something interesting, or at least for me it's super interesting because I'm doing the Dutch pour for quite a while, as you guys probably know. I did a painting where I poured a different color around the puddle and blew that out. It created this beautiful bloom and I'm calling this technique style just a little tweak of the Dutch pour, the Dutch bloom, because it creates beautiful petals of the bloom. I'm just loving this painting. So I think this panel is perfect for that. So with the sea green, minty green base and then white poured around the puddle, blow that out and see if we can create a bloom here. So let's paint. I have here a wooden panel and it's 20 inches in diameter. And I'm gonna use a minty green color as a base and exploring a different color poured around the puddle. So I've mixed this beautiful mint green. It's titanium white with just a little bit of phthalo green and I think it's beautiful. And I will be pouring white around the puddle. Today my paint is quite thick. I've mixed it with Floetrol, like 60% acrylic paint, 40% Floetrol and added some water to thin it out. Uh, I'm gonna do that because I wanna see if with this thicker mixture, if I spin it, if the sides will hold up prettier than when I'm just using water. Cause every time when I spin it out, I love the middle, the center of it, of the blowout. But then the edges are yeah, disformed and messy to me. So that's why you see me lately in all those spinned out paintings, you know, covering the, the sides again. I'm gonna start here with the base color. And as you see, it's thick. So fun part, this is a phthalo green and I'm gonna start with that because the base is as well a mixture of the phthalo green. Uh, then let's go with the ultramarine blue. So I'm not gonna use a lot of colors really uh, and some gold. So just three colors because I'm gonna test this out. Let's pour the white around this. And then let's blow that out. And I'm doubting here if I shall blow the white over just a little bit first or just go immediately. And I'm just thinking, let's just blow this out right away like this. But then again, it can be that this gold is gonna be a big patch of color. So I don't want that, so I'm gonna blow just slightly here for the first blowout. Yeah, all right. I'm loving this blowout, definitely. And I think it's so pretty that these petals of the bloom now are with white in here. And the background has a different color. I really like that. Okay. 
So in the middle, I will torch just a little bit because I love cells that pop up there and become bigger when I spin this out. All right, so now I'm gonna go for a gently spin um, and I'm not gonna pour any color around this yet. Oh, that center, it's super beautiful. All right, so again, uh, you know, I, I do love the edges, but I think they're quite messy. Uh, also, I would like this white to not be that white. So I'm just gonna take that off. And here I'm gonna do that as well. I do think this is such a success. And I do think with this thicker mix of color, uh, the design holds up better. Yeah, this is it, you guys. I'm gonna bring you up for a close up. Whoa, hello. Look at this beautiful, beautiful panel. Wow, and that gold. That gold and this blowout with that white, you know, it creates such a beautiful gradient of that base color. And this bloom, it's just stunning, isn't it? I do have three more of those panels, so I'm definitely gonna do another one with magenta in the middle. I think that will work great too. When I saw the footage of, uh, of me blowing this out and then tweaking the background, I could have stopped earlier, but it's super neat now, right? Yeah, I was super excited to go to the studio today to see this one dried. It's gorgeous. I would love, 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 love to hear your opinion about pouring another color around the puddle and creating those blooms. And I'll see you next time, guys. Thank you for watching.